Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, my bad. You're in a dungeon. It's Some of you have um, magical items now, sword, which you'll have to attune to. Um, and now we have the fun. Um, there's this how to get out of here um, because there's still iron bars right there, guys. And not all of you can. My fucking mouth. Yeah, preferably the same way that we came in. Yeah, we may have to not long rest a, down here. Not an option for everyone, I'm afraid. You have to uh, long not to mention, uh, we don't have a choice in the matter. We are long resting, unless you feel like abandoning me. Yeah. Because uh, no. remember, I am still at the casual max HP of zero. I'm yeah. sure Sean's character can just uh, pull your your unconscious body through the hole. Yeah, that's true. You're now you're now technically small, right? Because you're prone. No, but it just, <laughs> just it? pull really hard. Cut off an arm, and it'll yeah, just, right there. Just, just ignore. Just ignore the cracking sounds of my bones, and yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, we're gonna have a long rest, I think. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Let me get out my notebook, guys. Hey, the long rest, and then you know, all the creatures that inhabited this cave will come back. Oh, yeah. Are we achieving a hunt? And then we start playing Dark Souls. Yes. Uh, uh... Um, Why do I hear boss music? Ryan asked if you're tuning to stuff. We got a uh, amulet. Hold on, let me see if the amulet needs the tuning. Well, the amulet is Sean, so yeah. um, he's not here. He can't um True. argue ownership. <laughs> um, yep, the amulet requires attunement. May or may not be cursed. The sword. May or may not be cursed, but it feels right in my hand, so I shall be attuning to it. Um, also, luck. I've still got like six or seven curse uh, uh, diseases and curses and stuff, so I don't know. What's oh yeah, there. I I <laughs> need to um during this long rest, I need to swap out one of my spells for lesser restoration to cure disease on I think myself and Madeline. I'm a disease notebook, guys. Okay, um, everyone, um, it's long rest, so max HP, change your spells, tell me if anyone's attuning to anything, um, I know that, um, Daryl, you're attuning to the sword. Yep. They had no idea what was causing it. Well, as it turns out, come come right. Sorry, I'll leave this background noise. I know. Listen, I can't have the boy in the bed, the dog in the bed. So this is where I'm at. Well, I'm not sitting on the couch because it's fucking I can nice. try and put him in the bed if you want. She, she well, can I'll have him in the bed. Yeah. It's a cute doggy. Why wouldn't you let her in the no, bed? No, our bed is, is actually like five foot off the ground and you can't oh. jump I'll have to fucking climb up into it via step stool because it's no. too big. Okay, guys. Um, there's an amulet. Are we examining the amulet with any uh, spells? I don't even range? think he, Sean allowed us to see the amulet. He was yeah, oh, he, he yeah, well, a sword here. Oh, yeah, he made yeah, the 29 okay, right. slayer hand. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, well, that's Got fine. It. So, good luck. I sure hope it's not anything bad that speaks to him in, in his mind, <laughs> telling him to do bad things. Oh, if only he had a skill that blocked things from telepathically annoying him. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Does he? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, I'm just writing down notes. to be him. <laughs> as, as we joked about last time, this would be the second time he gets possessed. <laughs> He's been possessed before. Um, yeah, we uh, we freed a ghost, and before we could even deal with deal with it at all, it just possessed him and fucking sprinted away. It We're just, just to be outside. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be outside, and then we continued to punch the rogue because you know reasons. <laughs> I had a good excuse. Is it um? Are we going to be able to do anything about this uh, bat that is currently no clipping through the wall? Um, no, don't worry. About it. Okay. I, I keep those on the side just to um, initiate the roll. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm. 
Okay. So everyone got their um their set self up yeah, their self set up for a long rest. Um long Lucira is at full HP as well. You you conscious and recovered. Oh, I actually recovered, do I? Yeah, it, it returns after a long rest. Yay. Okay, cool. Welcome back. <laughs> Lucero will remember. just like sit up with a start, like mm-hmm. you know, like in every horror film or anything like that, where they just sort of sit up suddenly. It's just that. It's <laughs> like, like the Undertaker from WWE. Yes, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Before I forget, firstly, this zombie just explodes into mushrooms, so he's Falls over. gone. Um, and I have I cast Lesser Restoration on myself to cure myself of whatever disease I got from the wolves. And it was Madeline that got the other disease, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Making a collection of cursed items and diseases, it seems. And you said yeah. that that's restoration doesn't work on the whole see-through skin thing, but whatever thing from the wolves. It stops her from dying due to air exposure. It stops her from getting worse. It, treats. it would be every hour, instead it's just that is not a big deal. Okay, yeah, so... I am no longer diseased. Madeline uh, is dealing with disease, but less so. Thank uh, you. You didn't even let me tell you what disease it was. Okay. Anyways, it's all cured. No, <laughs> <laughs> sounds so disappointed. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna do disease rolls secretly now. <laughs> we didn't know what they were anyway. Yeah. Yeah, but you knew. Yeah. I mean, okay. You just mean clearly I'm okay just getting diseases, so like <laughs> cool. Okay, um we are going to go over Madeline's sword. <laughs> Madeline, you tuned to the sword. Um, it is a very ancient sword. It is magical, so it's in pristine shape. Uh it is clean and it is razor sharp. Glows blue when undead arm. It, it, it glows blue when undead are nearby. It, it um, glows blue when living is nearby. <laughs> so, so I had Sean roll when he was grabbing magical items, um, and he rolled thirty four, and he rolled a ninety. So the the thirty four was for the amulet, the ninety was for the sword. Uh it is of rare quality because of that. Ooh. Uh, it's a well oh, here I'll, I'll I'll type it out to you. It is a plus two sword, short sword. Um you have advantage against well, how do I write this out? Uh you have advantage on spell saving throws that target only you. Whoa. Oh! That's pretty sick. It is. The downside is you don't control your character anymore. <laughs> the downside is you don't have now. God, you just... You have blood, man. You just really want blood all the time now. I don't know. <laughs> uh, speaking of the normal, then. <laughs> you, you no longer uh, like how the skin feels on your body. Okay, I don't have any at the moment, so... Yeah, that's oh, that's <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know how to create a text file for a new... for a weapon. So, um... Just write just out and put it on the Discord to me. Um, I can, I can... Yeah, just, like, just, copy, just, copy, just copy paste it into treasure or something, but just make it a plus two sword. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we're probably well-versed enough with Roll20 that we can just pop it in at our own time. There, I'm gonna just put in text. Okay. As that plus two to just attack rolls or attack rolls and damage? Both. It's plus two sword attack rolls and damage. Cool. Fuck yeah. And now it's gonna be better as well because I've also got finesse. Yes, you can start using dex because you have like plus three to dex, didn't you? Yeah. Dude, how have you been using strength? I. I originally actually built the character to be a reach character and I just had the flail because it was another weapon and then i started using the shield constantly so i was like well the only weapon i have is a flail so <laughs> yeah well anyway i think we, we balanced out yeah 
Oh, I um, do that. Cool. So, one thing I want to do with Pal, who still wants to do now that she's awake, um, the beast thing, uh, well, we know it's called the Vargeist players, but mm -hmm. Sarah doesn't know that. Could she make a check? Is that like, is it, monster, is it undead or is it monstrosity or beast or something like that? Or um, it would be like, un what it would, you know about it? It would be undead. It would be undead with it. So okay, oh, that's a bit of a shame. It is uh, vampiric in nature. It's not like a no. werewolf. Yeah, it's but it, it's like because obviously there's like normal bats around as well. But okay, that's fine. Um, um, are you looking at harvesting something? No, exactly. I can, I can assist with my my book of monsters if you want. No, I mean, well, I guess we'll, I guess we'll do that. Now you have me. Now you have me thinking because I mean, like gargoyles, just because it has vampiric. Yeah, just because it's vampiric doesn't mean it's undead. Because yeah, I, it, because it doesn't really have any of the. It's just a servant of undead. It's not necessarily undead. Um. Uh, probably be a beast. Let me look up what gargoyle is. Okay. Do you want me to make a check or anything like that, or? No. Okay. Oh, gargoyles are construct. Shit, I didn't mean that. Uh, yeah, gargoyles are. Elementals. Yeah, I was thinking of the old school one. Um, it would be. I got it. It's like monsters. Come on. Okay, you know, no, this shit's helpful. Um, it is. What are the classifications? Because I can't find anything on. Aberration, monstrosity, beast. It'd undead. be monstrosity. Monstrosity. Okay. Yeah, monstrosity. Okay, I can work with that. Because it's just that. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, monstrosities monstrosity. are monsters. Frightening that are not ordinary, not truly natural, and almost everybody. It's a monster. Yeah. Grand. Um, and if I remember right, this thing's been like pooling blood for the past couple of hours. It's been bleeding That's, blood, yeah. Um, it's probably not, considering the fact that none of us use slashing weapons that hit it, it's probably not like fully out of blood, is it? Like, I imagine there still will still um, be blood left in the body. Like, four hours seems like it'll be a short Yeah, it's just to... laying there. You, you, you yeah, yes. Okay. Yes, I know what you're doing. Yes. I can work with this. It, has, it is a big fucking thing. It's like a horse. You shoot a horse in the head. Okay. Still gonna have. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so, yeah, Lucera will um, sort of sit up and the fight. wake up, and she will just be muttering to herself. Like, she doesn't even pay attention to the party at all. Um, she is just there going, I almost died. I have not yet earned my birthright. There's still so much more I can be. My strength is not what it should be. I have Health is that. just kind of, like, sat next to you, like, what in the fuck? Yeah, oh, just, sorry. Just yeah. Up from, like, death. Like, he's just yeah. staring at you. Um, like, she has not, she, like, has not even looked at you, uh, and she's, like, probably gotten up and she started pacing at this point while she's continuing to mutter. Um, it's probably, she's muttering probably loud enough for you to hear. It's not like she's whispering or anything like that. It's not under mm -hmm. her breath that she is muttering to herself. Um, I have held myself back, restrained myself too long. I should not be doing this. All because of these, what these things may think no more. Um, Are you okay? Do you uh, do, do, do you need a do you need do a you, moment? Do you, do you need some tea? Lucera does not pay any attention to you. She <laughs> gives you no indication that she has heard you at all. And then she locks eyes on this beast. And uh, Ryan knows what I'm doing. And oh, uh, and she's... so what she does is she'll go like, not my first choice, but you. It will do. Strong, but. Enough, strong enough at least and what she'll do is she'll go over to it and I'm presuming it probably fell onto its stomach or whatever she'll probably just try and lift it onto its back um, I presume she can probably do that she's fairly strong it's 
probably heavy, but she can probably do it. Like, it's not like it can resist, right? Oh, gravity I'm is sorry, the only thing resisting. Yeah. Like, yeah. She, but she can flip it. That's what she needs. Just Halo yeah, Wars um, as X to flip. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess you're really hungry, you could. Uh, get, get that hunger strength. Yep. And so she, what she's going to do is she's going to tilt its head back. And I'm presuming the other people will be paying attention to this. You yeah. see that Lucera's teeth are suddenly very, very sharp. Oh. I Bro, is and... Lucera a fucking vampire right now? And she will, again, without paying any attention to you, she, she is still giving you new, no indication that she has paid any, that she has even heard you or seen you or anything since waking up. And she will dive down and bite into his throat. Bruh. Uh, Sarath will just immediately stand up like, what in the fuck? Hey, and she yes. is just rip and tear. Yep, that's it. She is just this is a starving person that's finally been given food. She is just fucking devouring as much blood as she can in from it. Hey, the I've, music I've... begins playing. A fellow one dead. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't know about this? Oh, how did you not know? How long have you been traveling with these people? Too long and not long enough, I guess. <laughs> okay, hands up anyone else who is an untold vampire. Does undead in general count? Uh, yes, I know what you are. You're fine. Well, you're not fine. You're. I don't know what you are. You're. It just. I'm I know you're not a vampire. He's a houseplant. <laughs> 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 Uh, okay, well, Ma Madeline, are you are are you undead? I am not undead. Okay, good. You're not a vampire. <laughs> I just love the idea of Madeline. You're dead, and just like the skinless, <laughs> like <laughs> see-through gelatinous head turns towards you. You can see the eyeballs through the eyelids. Like, nope. <laughs> I'm definitely not. Definitely not. Oh, this you is see the brain big. switch to lying mode, and uh... <laughs> <laughs> she pulls out like a list of cards of different lies on it. <laughs> Are you undead? Looks up cheat sheet. No. <laughs> <laughs> I am what you would call an aberration. <laughs> <laughs> At least my skin is. Yeah, okay, Ka Callie is going to go over to Lucier and go and just ask. Have you gotten what you need? Um, Lucera does still not pay attention to you. She is busy eating. Yeah, just, <laughs> she, give her, she, she just can't, just can't give her talk more time. Easy. Got you. <laughs> well, hopefully, <laughs> like, are you go, like when you do that? Are you like how close are you getting to Lucera? He, he's like he leaning. He's he's he's, he's like, like a step or two away, like leaning over, and like a teacher does to a student who's like writing in their book. Uh, yeah, unless you're, like, going to touch Lucera, she does not give you any attention whatsoever. I, she, 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 she seems to be somewhat hungry. I did not know about this, but it's nice to have another one of me on the team. Yeah, but the problem is, you're... I don't know, again, I don't know what you are, but a vampire is quite dangerous, as if you don't feed them, they have a tendency to just, you know... Turn on each other. Who's serious getting fed? Callie just yeah, like motions. There is, this is more... that disgusting, ripping and tearing sound as Lucera eats. Yeah, Callie yeah. has no bother with that. <laughs> okay, I, I'm just thinking of the future, okay? I, I mean, do, if you're talking you about. Nice enough. If you're talking about dangerous, we all were dangerous in that fight to varying degrees. I arguably least so. I was just doing to keep the dangerous people alive. But you all seem dangerous. And we're all fine with that, right? I guess. See? And looks over at Lucera just fucking ripping yeah, this thing okay. apart. I <laughs> think I... So hang on, also that actually reminds me. I can just I need to do something real quick. Uh ten minutes. Cool. You guys don't need to know what that is. 
She's how many? Four. Four something. Blood the Sierra brain. shrinks by four inches. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I, I played the short stack character once before, never again. Uh, but I think at this point, Lucia is probably done with her meal. And Does she'll... She pay attention to the other living beings in the room. Give me a minute. Uh, so she'll basically probably stop eating. I imagine she's had her fill at this point. Um, so then, yeah, she will, she'll look up at the party. Um obviously mouth and like lower jaw and things like that just covered in this blood whatever color it is whether it's like normal crimson or if it's something else it's a monstrosity who the fuck knows after an hour yeah it's probably like yeah it's still red yeah or beginning to darken whatever like just covered in it and everyone else will see that her eyes have actually changed as well Uh oh so rather than being the like normal white eyes and sort of her where the uh, irises were normally like a fairly slate gray, the whites of her eyes are completely jet black. Uh-oh. And the pupils are glowing this bright like amber color. And she actually does finally look at Fati. And the eyes still look, and you, they still look very hungry. Uh-oh. You, uh, uh <laughs> you're good, Lasira? I think I am much better than I've been in a long time. Okay, but are you, are you done? Are you, like, she'll put her hands out, like, mm, like, are you done? <laughs> no more? <laughs> no more for now. Okay. I mean, but I will not news. restrict myself again to your attitude. It Understandable. I mean, you you could have just told me. I would have helped you get some food. I do not need your help. Uh, yes. yes, like she will basically like um, snap her head to you, and she will say that quite aggressively. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, uh, Madeline will um it's Madeline will kind of uh I'm oh, sorry. No go. You're right, no, you continue. My this is my power, what I am, is a birthright. And I have restrained myself too long. Not anymore. No. Okay. And then it I, does that, yeah. is that a threat? Stand <laughs> stand against me and it will be. Okay. I have no plans to do that. However, life has a funny way of putting things in front of us. So, shall we make a pact now? No tearing each other's throats? I have no plans for it, but life has a funny way of putting things in front of you. <laughs> oh, you can't do that. You can't use my own words again. Okay? Uh, uh, yeah, sorry. This year will give you that like smirk, which probably looks... Uh, oh, yeah. Which yeah. is somewhat <laughs> difficult to see through all the blood, actually. No, I think that would be terrifying. But, um, I yeah, I imagine there's a bit, the probably, yeah, bit of teeth there. Like, you can see yeah. that she's smirking from the teeth that are still oh so quite sharp. <laughs> not, yes. as, not as sharp as they were, <laughs> but still <laughs> noticeably sharper than normal would be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, well, let's just see how it goes. Um, like I said, I have no plans to and you have no plans to yeah um all right what a interesting day this has been uh i'm really looking forward to getting out of here and um <laughs> and calling the police and seeing seeing where things go you know you're still okay for the sunlight lucera if that hasn't changed oh yeah has that's it? nothing has changed i am still as i always was it is not what I am. It's not full vampirism. That would be one of my, likely, one of my ancestors. Interesting. But I am still myself, but I have ignored this for too long, and now I will once again be at my fullest. Very good. Very good. Uh, remind me to talk Madeline to you later. Will, um, 
Madeline will just kind of uh, start walking down the hallway and go, If everyone is fully rested and sated, shall we return to what we were doing? And just walk off by herself. <laughs> uh, Callie is just going to say to Lucera that I do need to talk to you later, but that can wait. Let's get out of here first. Yeah, Sarah is going to keep a, a nice 10 foot distance from Lucera for the next little while. <laughs> Yeah, you're um, you're a li- you're a living person, so you should be yep. there. <laughs> hey, Please I'm go the... For the small creature first. If you're feeling hungry, <laughs> I'm safe. I think. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't get much from bone marrow. So, alrighty, let's go. Uh, does anyone need help getting through the bars? Uh, uh, I, I mean... can take Lucera with the thunder step, but. I need to go last, because otherwise I'll hurt you with thunder damage. Uh, do you need help, uh, <laughs> Madeline, or are you okay? No, I'm good. Okay. If I'm right, there's, like a, there's a crack. A it skips away. There's, and like then a, yeah, there's a crack in the ceiling, right? Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, there's yeah. a hole in this room, in the big <laughs> yeah, blood room. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there is, yeah, up to the ceiling, yeah. Yeah, yeah it leads it's upwards. Cool. It's nighttime though, so you, you just know, it wouldn't. It's not clear if there's sun, but probably because this thing flies and the flying bats. So it's yeah, probably up there. I can probably I can probably use that. Cause... How are you gonna How are you gonna get out? I mean, it would it would cost them nothing to transport you through. It just it's the same spell. Yeah, but like, okay, first thing first, is still... Sarif feel safe enough to <laughs> take Lucera? Second question: Do you think Lucera is not prideful enough, is is uh, humble enough to accept someone to take carrying her through? It's not carrying as much as just standing near me and the clouds envelop her as she also transports alongside. Yeah, but it's still. I think, I think eating a shit ton of food tends to humble people a bit. They tend to know <laughs> about. No, 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 not Lucera. So I agree. She's a. Uh... She hasn't eaten in five days and was given half an apple. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how about how she was given a li- almost a literally a whole fucking horse. <laughs> she, it's been weeks, months, probably. I don't actually. How long have we even been on this tr- j- uh, job? Um, like, nearing two months. <laughs> yeah, it's been literal months since she's been able to take take blood, mostly because. It feels like everything we fucking fight is undead in this well, in this land. <laughs> yeah. and... This is why I was so upset when we had to let those two go. I was absolutely going to eat one of them. <laughs> well, one of them's still outside. Yeah, I know. But he became, <laughs> he became more, somewhat essential. If he ever... D- if his... Uh, Yes, if you murder someone, there will be criminal repercussions. That's if true. His, I'm just saying, if his use if ever runs fun, out of course. for that for that tribe, like people are being <laughs> upset. I'm just going to gash his form through here. <laughs> uh, Sarah turns to Lucira and is there like, okay, I understand that you're you're going to have issues getting through the bar. Okay, there's no one else in the room. No one else has to, <laughs> has to hear this. I. I am willing to. Uh, uh, how do I, how do I say this? Willing to allow you. Uh, no, I'm I'm willing Mr. to grant my assistance to you. Uh, That's gay. Shut up. <laughs> if you don't want to, get out! Holy shit, I already love it. Um, Lucera's probably just gonna... You know what, yeah, fuck it. Lucera's too powerful for this. Uh, Lucera's just gonna, like, ignore you, and... Um, you see her just walk up to this cave wall, and she's gonna put one foot on the wall, and then she's just like gonna walk Like, mid-conversation? Yeah, like... Well, yeah. He's, like, well, yeah, you, you, he's just like, you. I could grant my assistance, and she's like, she has the assistance, and she's like, I don't need assistance, and she's gonna go like, I'm, I can just climb. I'm gonna go see, I'm gonna go see what's up, I'm gonna see what's above. Also, uh, yeah, this, this, will be the, this will be the first time that Sarah has seen her, um, and for the most part, she's been climbing more or less like a normal person, um, Except she can't be bothered with that anymore. She's like, yeah, fuck it. I can, 
I'm just going to show you my full powers. Uh, she's just going to walk up because she can. What? She walks what? like Spider Man up the up the wall. Yep. Yeah. Literally, she just <laughs> she literally just puts one foot and just starts walking up. How does one learn this power? <laughs> Not from a Jedi. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. She's just gonna walk up. Uh, I don't like. She can get out on her own that way. And yeah. I, she's just too. She's too private. Yeah, Sarah, to Sarah just like stops mid conversation and is just like staring at you, like mouth like mid word, like what the fuck? What if I swear to God, storm protect me and just fucking walks out of the room. <laughs> Thunder waves out of the room, right? Uh, yeah. Breaks all the walls <laughs> in a half. Uh, okay. Whenever you are ready, Madeline. I yeah, think Madeline everyone has stuff through. Yeah. I'm just going to cash this for my way out of the cave. <laughs> okay, guys, we're 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 um stop right there. Cause, I mean, there were kobolds. The kobolds fucking fleed and were left. <laughs> <laughs> um so we're gonna we're gonna see in transition over to Lucira um climbing your way out of the um the crack in the earth above you. Um it gets narrow at some points, Lucira, as you're like walking up. You have to actually like go on your your hands and feet. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. But, I, but I imagine that's it wouldn't kind of... be too difficult for that because if the bar goes yeah. pretty fast, she can. Yeah. What's that? Mm. But it's not like a class ability that just allows you to walk on walls. What? No, she's a she's. The, um... uh, I'm a I'm a dampier, which is kind of like a a race almost. Um, it but among other things, it's me. Um, Holly, have you ever seen um interview with an yeah. uh, interview with a vampire? No. Okay, don't worry about it. Anyways, um, it's a vampire to climb. Yeah. Um, anyways, you you um, come out the top, Lucera, um, and it is a natural looking formation, I even all the way to the top. Um, and you crawl out, and it is sort of this um, this top of this ridge hill, um, and it's the same desert you recognize, yeah. really cold and 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 agitating, and yellowish sand. Um, and you get your bearings, and you, you you kind of recognize like, oh, the path that you came back from. So you you um, walk over back to where the entrance to the cavern was, and you can see the rest of your crew's already there, with um, the fellow whose name I have written down, Neven, Neven the Ranger, um, at the entrance to the um, to the desert. There it is. I'll transfer you guys over. Hey, look at that, Neven. Mm -hmm. Um, and the rest of the group's there as well. Um, just sort of waiting around for a second. Sarah has been left behind, apparently. Um, <laughs> yeah, yes. Pull you over. And somehow the fucking halfling disappears again. Yeah, no, he's, he's gone. You haven't seen him in forever. <laughs> one, two, three, four, one, Was he two, even three. in the cave with us? Ooh. He was just yep, a little. He's not actually a rogue. He's just a wizard who casts uh, illusion spells. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's, he's not even a halfling. He's just a constantly shrunk human. <laughs> God damn it. I have a work thing that came up. I'm leaving within an hour. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, anyways. Um... <clears throat> Let me let me um get my mind back in order. Um I actually think you'd be coming out first, Lucira, and there yeah, I think you because yeah. you just climb a cavern, that's it. Everyone else has to like wind their way through water and bog and all that stuff. Yeah, um sense. yeah, you come out on from the top of the um the cave entrance and you see Neven uh there. Uh Neven is riling through the um the camp, the tent there. Um, and isn't aware of your presence. Um, um, so, uh, 
one thing uh, at this point, she probably will have wiped away her mouth a little bit. Not like there's no way she's getting it fully clean. It might be your um, blood. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they did. That's fine. But as the in what? like, so like marginally cleaner, so it's not just like literally covered. But um, yeah, Lucero will probably just um, probably just actually start walking over to him. Okay. She's gonna say hi or. Uh yes, hi. Let's go with okay. that. Yeah, <laughs> even even looks up. Uh, a startled. Like, oh, uh, yeah. She also she's not gonna like she's not gonna be calling out. She's literally just gonna be walking up to him and seeing if he notices. If not, she's gonna fucking jump scare him. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So you're you're like right there. Uh. No. Neven <laughs> does not notice. Neven is busy going through a bag right now. Uh. Can I see what he's actually like looking through? Like anything of notice, or is it just jump? Um. He doesn't seem to find what he's looking for. There's no like pile of hoarded things that he's like. So it's hard to tell what it is he's looking for. Uh, he's just going through stuff, um, a little bit frantically, like he's looking for specific items. Uh, she's probably, she's just gonna wait then. Um, she's really curious what he's specifically searching for then, and she's not gonna give it away. That she's that she's present just yet. Sure. In another minute or so, um, the rest of your party's gonna come out of the cavern, though. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Okay, sounds good. As at some point, he's gonna turn around and the series gonna be there, and I'm gonna list, like live for that screech. Okay, <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Um, so a minute or so later, um, the rest of the party, uh, Callie, Madeline, and oh, I don't have your name added to your character sheet. Or your character token. Uh, Seraph is going to uh, walk out of the cavern. Do, do, do. Is it is it day or nighttime? It is nighttime right now. It is okay. um, almost midnight. You guys have taken quite a while. Uh, she just breathes a, a, the fresh air as, as dry and sand smelling, but freedom. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, I appreciate you getting me out, man. Okay. Um. Ba, ba, ba. You you know the way out of this place, yeah? Yes. Okay. Good. I'm as that conversation is happening as you guys are exiting the cavern, and even mm-hmm. is going to um. Sorry, uh, Lucero, <laughs> you. <laughs> um, you see that uh, Neven hears noise and he like puts the stuff back uh, real quickly to make it look like he wasn't just like fumbling through all this stuff or searching through all this stuff uh, and then he's going to look over his shoulder uh, at the cavern and see you just standing like there absolutely <laughs> yes uh, well, how does he do he, she's literally caught in the act of trying to hide his search for something um, what's it goes... his reaction it goes from uh, shock to confusion to probably anger. <laughs> this is All right. no reason to sneak up on me. No, perhaps not. But you seem to be searching for something particular. Care to well, tell us what it is? You never tell when uh, something valuable is uh, being collected. Skadden was an interesting fellow, and he traveled lots. So I was trying to see if he had uh, found anything interesting in his, his adventures. Can I inside check that? You can inside check that. Because <laughs> she saw him looking for something specific, it seemed like. Holy shit, I'm off with insight. Yeah, there we go. Don't worry about it. <laughs> she's, too, she's too blissed out of her mind with blood. Don't worry about it. <laughs> It's beneath you. I mean, this is true. He is. Mm. Okay, so she doesn't get too much, but like, you seem to be searching for something particular. But no matter. I really don't care. Well, if I was, I found nothing. Mm. Yeah, she'll, 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 uh, Lucero will just sort of step aside, um, really sort of more 
letting the others in view. So I guess that really sort of just the invitation yeah. of like they're going to take over. Yeah, and, and the rest of the yeah, the rest of the party comes out of the yeah the captain there. Okay. Do, do, do. Um. Sarah, as soon as you, as soon as you exit out of this cavern, and you can see the sky, and the stars, and mm. the moon for the first time in, God, you you literally don't know how long you've been down there. Mm. Um, it feels like a weight off of your soul. Uh, you didn't realize. I mean, you know, it was bad, but you didn't realize like how much it was just weighing you <laughs> down in there. Mm-hmm. Um, and at that point, you hear a voice in your head. Um, everything sort of slows down, almost to a, a complete pause, actually. Um, and you hear this voice that you're familiar with in your head. Um, and it at- does it ask? It would ask. Uh-oh. Gaddon, are you okay? Uh, yes, I think. I'm alive. This is a voice that you're familiar with. You've you've heard this almost your entire life since you were a little like kid almost. Mm-hmm. Although it's gotten much more common and frequent when you were younger. Um, you'd hear it, you know, occasionally and you're like, Was that me thinking that? Or was did I miss hear did someone was talking to me? I just didn't see them. But you've gotten familiar with this voice, especially when you're out of the cities, out of the uh, civilization, out on your own into the wilderness, mm-hmm. you still hear this voice. Um and it knows things. It knows things that you don't know. Um, and it has its own personality. So you're 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 fairly certain you you know that this is some other entity. Um and it seems to it it seems to care for you, but it doesn't always let you know everything that's going on. Yes. Yeah. Um and the voice says again You had been gone for a very long time. I tried my best to send people to help you. I'm glad things worked out. Yes, no, that it's I appreciate it. It's um it's over now. So we are hopefully back on the uh back on the road and making something of myself. That's uh, You are you are back on the path. Yes. I need you to do me a favor. Okay. Can you stick with these people for a little bit longer? Uh, she looks at Lucera and is like, like you even 100%, her hundred percent. I, I, okay. I, mm, okay. I can, I can try. Okay. Not sure how it will go, but we'll give it a shot. Okay. I will contact you again in a few days. Try to. Stay alive till then. Stay out of trouble. Don't get kidnapped into caverns, please. Yes, well, it's already happened once. I'm sure it won't happen again. Once is enough. <laughs> yeah. Hear the voice go away, and, and time returns back to its normal. It feels no different to you, but the outside world sort of changes back. Mm. Okay. Everyone's just saying hi again, and um, you guys good to head back, or what's the plan here? Uh, I think we're good to head back. Okay. Uh, Sarah mm-hmm. leans into Kelly's ear and is like, who's the, who's the guy with the bow? That's the guy who led us here. Oh, oh very good. Hello. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I understand that you have a way way out of here. Back to um, civilization, if it were. Um, oh. We do. Is Gaden dead? His remains have been disposed of. Okay. <laughs> um. Um, Very good. Well, the sooner we leave, the better, I think. And, um, you know, I'm not um, sure about you, but I don't particularly enjoy hanging out in the desert. Um, Madeline would like to quickly check through Skadden's possessions in his tent again to see if she could find Pharaoh's map. Didn't you already look through that? Yeah, you already found Pharaoh's map. 
Oh, we already found it, did we? It was okay. literally the only thing you guys found in his tent. Yeah, someone did a really poor job of investigating. Pharaoh's map was the only thing that wasn't really, like, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, yeah. But no, Pharaoh's map is from Tom. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, that's the thing that tied else. That's the thing that tied him to the murder. I mean, other than eyewitness testimony, but you can't really trust eyewitness testimony. But he had the map. Um, <laughs> anyways, on, so on the journey back, you guys head out on the journey back because it is a little bit of a walk towards the um the the altar slash portal. Um, and and even does ask questions. He wants to know like what what was the what was the the fate down there? Like what what clues was going on? Because the elders in my village are gonna want to know. You know, how much do you guys tell him? Well, we have to stop from telling him. I don't think there's anything we have to hide. I don't know okay. the rest of you, but Callie's okay with just saying exactly what happened. That went past some dire wolves. You, you know what dire wolves are, don't you? They're like regular wolves, uh, yeah. only dire. Yep, only dire. <laughs> yes. um, they really, they should call them big wolves. Or huge wolves, giant wolves, because they're very big. Yes, wolves, giant. Through a waterlogged passage, bought some interesting kobolds, and eventually defeated a uh, large bat-like monstrosity who was protecting a coffin that had Scadden's, I believe, to be Scadden's remains. He tried to get up. We knocked him down. Um, Neven, during this whole conversation, Neven's like, for those of you who are observant, uh, Neven is um, looking at, Neven just listening to the story, looking up down at one. He's going to see what people have. Is Ryan a robot for anyone else? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can you hear me in now? Yes. Yes. We don't yeah. have those. Okay, cool. Uh Neven is listening, but he's also mostly just um looking up and down at everyone. Uh for those of you who are naturally observant. Um and uh <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sarah knows is this. <laughs> this sure does. Um Damn. plus eight. Bruh. God damn. Yep. He's a God little damn, oh, liar detecting machine. <laughs> um, uh, and even's, and even's going to. Man, no, we're bad. Helen, you're you're quite surprised when uh, Neven uh, next to you uh, asked, "Hey, is that that sword looks new? Is that a sword you went in with, or is that a new thing?" Uh, this was a sword I acquired after killing Scadam. Can I see it? In... Sure. Okay. And he, pull pull this, he pulled this sort, short sword out and hand it to Neven. And he okay. does some, like, practice swings with that, and he just, like, looks at it closely. It's like, that's a very nice sword. Here you are. He hands it back to you. Thank you. Hmm. It is a nope. good fit for me. Um. Well, I'm I'm happy this turned out well for most everyone. I'm gonna have to talk to Scan's family. Like I said, there was there was some disagreements between Scadden and the clan, but still, it's sad to see someone fall from grace and murder a sleeping person, and then obviously consort with vampires. Um. East undead, at the, at, if nothing else. Something. It's not helpful to speculate, so I'll just say something not good. Okay. Um, and as you approach the um, the the the, the Stonehenge like altar, sitting in the open of this this sulfuric sands uh, in the middle of the night, uh, need even just say. Um, well, I, uh, I know where to find you guys if we need to recontact. I hope that um, this settles the dispute between us. Um, if you could do us a favor, um, 
if you find anything of our history, don't deface it or steal it, please. We have lots of things throughout the land, and it's not in good taste to destroy things that have lasted so long. Um, not that you have, just as a you know courtesy. Uh, if there are things we find that we don't know about, we might still collect them. But if they're obviously of yours, I think we can. I think we can agree to do our best to keep them preserved. So why not? There is one thing, though, if you don't mind. The, oh. We have been uh, around this, uh, the, fuck, I don't remember the name for, because it's not like the land, because we're in a completely different area now, aren't we? Um, are you talking about the desert, or are you talking about no, the, the area yeah, they, where... Everywhere we're, where we're based in. The valley? Um, the valley, yeah. Um, it goes by the title. Let me pull it up. Oh, the Shadowlands. That makes sense. <laughs> Okay. Also called the wastelands. The wastelands. Okay, um, these wastelands a little bit. You have seen things, and we have found other evidence of vampire, and you seem to know a little bit about them. Is there something we should know? You're just um, asking like for history, because that's a like, broad. That's a very broad question. Yeah, I know. Um, there's, I don't know. The way that it's like specifically said, like consulting with the think do they know more about it? Because we've got, there's clearly something going on with vampires and we just don't know what side who is on. It, I, I think he's asking specifically about the vampire history in the, over the area, not just general yeah. history. Yeah. Um, I'm really even, hoping they, he knows yeah. a bit more. He, he even speaks with this. Well, uh, I would like to help you all out in that area. I don't really know all that much. I already get into a lot of trouble by being a bit too friendly with outsiders. Like, if you want to know, or oh, is there, like, something going on? Yeah, probably. It sure seems like it. Uh, specifics? I, I, I don't know. I can't help you. Like, Okay. Um, he, he can go now. He's served his use. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> and he just he just he just pulls the rock, the stone uh, bloodstone out of his pocket and knocks it twice against the altar. And he just a portal opens. You see a swamp, a dark swamp, and he just pulls through or you know, walks through and disappears. Cool. Hmm. Maybe we should have asked um, him to us off first. Yes, yeah, sir. That's the first time you've seen a freaking portal. Whoa. And he just, yeah, he just did it like casually, like there's no big deal. And the rest of us are like, no big deal. What no big is... deal. Wow. What? Okay. Um, There's yeah. some old magic too. Like the Stonehenge here is like ten thousand years old at least. It's the... weathered and and yeah. Uh, so Sasara, kind, of, kind of just like yeah. There, there's no need to worry. It's okay. fine. It's only powered by blood. It'll get us out of Excuse here. You? Wait, whose blood? There's, My there's blood? No, their, their, their portals aren't powered. Yeah, ours are. Uh, so yeah, we may as well get them used to... Are. We may as well get, get Sarath well Sar used to the idea of, of blood powering it. <laughs> I mean, blood powers all of Luzera's magic. Gonna have to get used to it one way or another. Yeah. Yes, but whose who's blood? Um, let's hope not people, yours. People yes, keep asking let's, questions. Let's, let's, okay. How does, okay, how does it work? Blood. She's like looking at all this stuff. Okay, yes, I know blood, but like, what, what, is it, is it like, is it old, like blood vampiric magic? What, what are these, who made these stones? Um, we don't fucking know. <laughs> no, you told the story of the stone we have. Uh, we were just told it was old magic, like that the Shadokai don't know how to make them like this anymore, don't we? Would there, would anything like this be taught in the school that I went to? My role of history. DM. Sorry, say again, please. Would the uh, school that I was attending, the magic school, 
um, would they have taught anything like this? They do not teach blood magic. That is not no. part of the curriculum. Um, not even tend- like history. History. Um, of, like. So okay. <clears throat> you want to talk about blood magic? They don't really teach blood magic because um, okay. that requires the living. It's not really a great thing. Uh, yeah. Necromancy requires dead bodies. They're just laying around, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, if you want to go into like, oh, um, uh, ancient magic or like um, ancient relic magic, yeah, you never made it that far in, into school. <laughs> that's that's like third and fourth lot a year. <laughs> oh shit, he's a dropout. Oh, yeah, they try. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, not a dropout. <clears throat> Couldn't handle uh, evocation one or two. Um, I can call lightning from the sky. I think I'm fine with evocation. <laughs> um, Jokes yeah, on you, man. bitch! That's you, a conjuration the... spell. <laughs> also, you are saying that to literally the one person the party also do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> also, I just realized. Holy shit, guys! We can get double call lightning. Yeah. Any fight outside is easy. Hey, who who else has cold lightning? I do. The druid. Oh, beast! There we go. <laughs> Call forth the storm, and the storm shall answer. <laughs> right. Anyway. Yes. Uh, yeah, she's just infatuated with the uh, with the stones and how it works, and is very interested because they never taught any of this in school for the time that she was there. Uh, so, um, yeah, like you're gonna have to drag her through the portal because she will be there touching the stones forever. Like, whoa, interesting. They're interweaved with the magic, and I can sense it. Sarah uh, will absolutely a thousand percent not be dragging you through. You can either walk through or get left behind. Callie's Excellent. going to be more so behind her, just pushing her forward. Yes. Uh, yeah, also, um, <laughs> yeah, sorry, Lucero is going to open the portal. Uh, so what you'll see, uh, Holly. Okay. Um, uh, Their portal works different. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to bed. Okay. It's only, it's only 10 a.m. She's going to a midday nap? Uh, <laughs> It's uh, Sunday. We went to bed Am I... so... Oh, it's Sunday. Yeah, no, that's fair. It's Sunday. So, should I take a nap? Um, oh, so Sarah, what you see when they they knock their stone, they take a substantially bigger stone. They take a proper like smashing guy's face in level stone, um, <laughs> and and bonk it against the um, or crack it against the uh, altar, and an, uh, a portal opens up. It is not headed to like a swamp or a place or town. Um, it goes to a um, a small room uh, with uh, um, very dark corners. Oh, Where there's darkness, it goes to absolute oblivion. Um, it's a very claustrophobic. You can see that there is like a sacrificial altar in the center of the room. Uh, there's a, like a there's a body there dead <laughs> a while ago. Uh, if um, Callie is still pushing Sarah, uh, you immediately feel her resistance upon seeing what is on the other side of the uh, the pool. Don't it's worry, like, no, they've been no, dead no. for a long time. No, no, I don't. I don't care about what are you. Who am I? Is this my blood? Am I? You're going to sacrifice? I don't want this. We're not going to sacrifice you, but if you do yeah. happen to die, your blood will probably be used to power the stone. Now let's okay, keep going. Well, you do not have my written consent for this. Please. I just want to be free, please. This is how and you get push, out of the desert. Push me into the... Like, yeah, like, I'm, I assume the rest of us are already... Pushed, yeah, everyone's... Yeah, everyone just walks through. <laughs> and push through the border. Yes. <laughs> um, and you find yourself very quickly on the other side of this portal. Um, man, it is cold here and it's humid. Um, oh, the dream. Yeah, Ugh. it's God. This is not a great place. It's dark, but you can kind of see, like in the room itself, um, as though your everyone's vision can only extend like ten feet or so, and then the blackness <laughs> just sort of happens. So you can see there's a doorway, um, 
there's a doorway on your left. Um, that's the only exit you can see to this room. Um, but that gives you bad feelings because that just feels like a pit into oblivion, the void that way. Um, oh, we. And um, yeah, there's four pillars in this room and you pop out between two of them. Okay, seriously, where are we? See if you're cowering. We are in the... the yeah, it's just the Shadowfell. The Shadow... Shadowfell? Like, we're on a different plane? Like, what? what's happening? I don't understand. Yes, yes, pl- yes planar right. travel. You a, yes, you have a good <laughs> grasp of basic planar uh, knowledge. Oh, good god. Um, Come on, Cyrus, catch uh, up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> the portals they use are newer. Apparently, they are not as old as ours, or as this stone. They cannot reproduce these. Yeah. Pardon me, sorry. Interesting. Theirs seems to go directly from place to place within the same plane existence. This one, though. And she'll sort of hold up the stone. This big eye has got runes carved into it and things like that. It's got blood flowing in it as well. Is that the one you're on about? Not anymore, it's not. No. So uh, it what it would have been originally, uh when oh, well, uh, yeah, actually, no, I guess I guess there's still there's still some blood the, flowing in The this stone is the, feels much lighter. Yeah, but we've got just enough for one more yeah. travel. Okay. And uh I'm guessing you refill that with the blood of people. Do they do they have to be alive? She'll just give you that like shit eating grin. Oh, they have <laughs> no God. idea. They have no By idea. The storm. They have no I mean, idea. They're just... She's just like touching her head, like, oh god, what am I into? Hey, it's what fine. are these who are these people? We only need to use this when we need to use it. In the meantime, I run a farm. Think, oh, about the, delightful. think about the farm as we travel through this bl- I'm blood portal. I'm thinking about the farm. I'm not thinking about the endless darkness that we're currently set in sp- with unspeakable horrors ever ever lurking just, just beyond the veil of... Don't of worry, hidden. with enough study you'll understand these horrors. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> and the horrors will understand you. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they already know. <laughs> I mean, if I remember right, wasn't there that wandering monster uh, fairly close to that? <laughs> Does Lucio say that? <laughs> I mean, yeah, kind of. <laughs> it's fine, we're not, not dead like, yet. Wide-eyed. Like, if I remember, there was that horrific monster that mimicked uh, a girl's voice. Wandering the corridor. Okay, open the portal, yeah. open the portal, open the portal, open, open the yeah, portal. Yeah, I thought you were just... scared of portals, Sarath. We can stay here for a while, okay. we need to get, a, get uh, accustomed. I am, n- no, no, I'm just like patting your arm, <laughs> like in, like, fear. <laughs> open the portal, open, open the portal. Um, Sorry. Lucira, would you Lucira. mind kindly opening the portal? She will do so with a roll of her eyes. Okay, okay. Sarath, not go. And I will picture the uh, the one, the one that's <laughs> close to our camp. Okay, I'm going to uh, transfer the hills, isn't it? over. <clears throat> yep. I believe I need I need to fucking sort this out. Is it the right one? Hey, it's the right one. Yeah, you scroll down yeah. slightly. Um, the um, spirit the tomb. spirit tomb one. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you you picture that in your mind, and in front of you, the between the two of the pillars. Uh, that one opens up. However, behind you, another portal opens up. One that you did not envision. Uh, when you turn around to look at it, you see the exact same swamp that uh, God damn it, Neven, um, that Neven went through. Guys, plans, schemes. We could be so. We could be monsters. What is going on? Basically, the portal has opened up the one that I want, that we wanted, as well as Neven's portal, it seems like. If nothing else, going there will provide us another location to travel to. Yes, however, we would need this, is our, this is our currently last use of the portal at the minute. 
So in order to go back to where we want, or back to the thing, we'd have to kill somebody and refill the portal yes. stone. So if we go there, we have to kill somebody. Correct. Why would we want to go there to kill somebody? I to mean, refill a stone. You answered the question. <laughs> okay. How does that? How does that advance our journey? It probably doesn't at the moment, but I'm um, I'm really curious whether it's a case of it's been like a proximity thing, or if it's a case of the stone might remember the portal, and it it keeps us that option in the future. We I might. will tell you what, Lucera. Why don't you give me an intelligence roll? Oh, just flat intelligence? Yeah, just give me a flat intelligence roll. Cool. Um, I would like to use my inspiration. Shit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for advantage on the roll. Uh, well, y'all can just 18! Oh, okay. Also, yes, it's a save, but it's the same score. I don't have... You, you have been... Um, Experimenting with this thing, you've, you've used the portal quite a bit, uh, and you're asking the right sort of questions. Um, it it seemed like it was like design. It was not like a oh, it's the closest. Or it's like not a happenstance or like a malfunction. It seems like a, a thing that's designed into the stone, um, and the pattern that's been coming up, at least as far as you can speculate, but you're, you're pretty sure, um, is. This stone can take you not only where you want to go, but where other people have gone. Depending on oh. which altar you're using. So is it so that so the altar in the desert can now take us to the swamp? Um that is I'm not gonna answer that. Because okay. that that that's an experiment you haven't run yet. Well, yeah, but I'm sorry. You just said it, it can take us where other people have been based on the where the altar we've used. Um, yeah, multiple times so far. Okay, yeah, okay. So, uh, multiple times so far. Um, you, the 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 other destination has been kind of inexplicable, but I think so far it's happened two or it might be three times. Um. Where whatever person went ahead of you, wherever they go, you can also follow them. Right. So it's so it's where we want to go, and the last person used. Yes. Mm. You don't know whether or not your uh, stone would overwrite that, though. Shit. Okay. Which is going to be quite thinking. Because if I remember rightly, like, when you first found this port, when we first found the stone, there were two portals open. One went one of them, used, and one went underwater. One of them um, was the portal that was closest to where you are. And yeah, 18, I'll give it to you. Um, if you don't have a conscious thought of where you want to go, a subconscious thought will do. And the closest portal on fresh land away from this horrible place is a pretty obvious thing for your brain to be like, I, I would rather go there. Yeah. So that explains why the one of the portals open to sh the Shadarkai Fort. Yeah. Or, uh, near it. The other portal led to a, um, a great temple, a massive temple, deep underwater, deep enough that you could still see the sun, but the sun didn't quite hit the, the floor of the water. Um, and maybe at the time you'd be like, "Oh, well, you know, I, I just like this is I'm in like in this the Shadowfell. I'm in a big temple, and we're surrounded by water." But the idea of like, "Wait, I saw sun," so that temple is not in the Shadowfell. Yeah, that's not in the Shadowfell. Where wherever the wherever the other portal went to the first time, that temple went somewhere else. So whoever whoever's traveling from the area. Was going to the temple. Yeah. Okay. That was, so I was right there. And it probably, I mean, because you guys got swept away, um, it probably just, it's linked to the the uh, closest altar. Because you guys got into the shuttle in an odd way the first time. Yes. 
got Ghost Tsunami, I believe, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I prefer Hurricane of Doom, but that works too. Sorry, Hal, this is a this is a bunch of stuff. Yes, no, this is from sessions. Don't worry about it. It'll become um, yet. Yeah, the sessions are, it'll become clear. Okay, yeah. So that and that, that's the only time we've seen a second portal. At a minute. Yeah, so at the moment, so we've now figured that out. So yeah, um so we'll then just look at stone sort of and be like, hmm, curious. Um and I guess you're gonna see what the party does. Like I'm assuming we I I presume we'll probably just be going through our side, but we also don't have a great deal of time about this, so guys act quick. I mean Sarah is happy to go wherever you guys are. She just wants out of the shadow room. Like, <clears throat> you know that we would just be going into the camp, surrounded by people who may not like us. Um. So before we do that, because Lucia is focusing on the crystal, uh, this isn't going to include her. Is anyone else here proficient with knowledge nature? Uh, I should be. Yeah, I would hope history. the plant man would be. Anyone else? No. No. Nope. Sounds good, Callie. Uh, you get a clear picture of the swamp, and this time it actually lasts quite a while. If you want to roll, you might be able to suss out where geographically the swamp is based on the uh, wildlife on the other side. Don't worry about it. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it is a swamp. Okay. Sounds um, good. That's all. What do you already do? I would have been really good at that check, actually. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Um... <laughs> Okay. Uh, so it sounds like we don't. Okay, we don't know how it's going to work. With them. Murder sounds no. nice, but that was stone must overwrite because otherwise it would just keep, it would have kept the temple as an option. So our one must overwrite some of this. Chance. You know, ours is more powerful. They said so. It is. Um, yeah, theirs doesn't even go to the shadowfall. You guys can go to the yeah. Theirs, theirs goes directly. What a treat. Mm. What kind of peasant doesn't want to go to the Shadowfell? Yeah. So... I don't think... Oh, fuck, I mean, I, I do want to go to their portal. But, like... We do have obligations like, as well. Why? It's, you haven't yeah, explained it's... for why. Because it's, like, it's an opportunity we have here now. But at the same time, it doesn't really provide much. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Like, we're, we're just going to go there and be like, hey, everybody, we followed you through your portal. Uh, to get back, we need to kill somebody. Any volunteers? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> let's, let's get back to the Hamlet and just check in with everyone. They may have heard right, back yeah. from the... Uh, they have heard back from our employers by now. Who knows? True. Money, yeah. money, money. That's Yet we have point. to we have to go back to civilization for our money. Oh, thank God! Thank the storm. No, I don't know what you're thinking. Isn't you you get no money? Oh, I just get the fuck out of this wherever <laughs> this is. Okay, let's. I I vote we head back towards the hamlet. All right, let's just go towards the hamlet then. I don't think. All right. Yeah, at the moment, it, like going to this other place, it doesn't actually provide us with any. That we know of at the minute. Also, it's like a giant variable on how dangerous it is, you know? Yeah. Like, if I might know, they, the, the leader like was just surrounded by ghosts or something. Um, yeah. He came to negotiate alone and brought like 20 ghosts with him. Oh. Huh. Well, I'm going to go so, back into the toilet. Okay. Yeah, let's head back to the hotel then. Towards yep. the spirit's tomb. Okay, go. sounds good. Everyone, jump on through. Yes. Uh, Hork appears and jumps through the portal as well. Um, and yeah, you guys find yourself in a grassy, hilly area. Um, much nicer than the desert. Much cleaner air. Easier to breathe. Doesn't scratch your throat for those of you who do breathe. Um, next to the old uh, Stonehenge, the um. The area just north of your village that you've set up, which I don't think has a name yet. Yeah, well, we'll have to name the village at some point. Um, 
and everyone but Sareth knows that you're standing on top of some sort of soul prison depository. Um, yeah. Hmm. And you guys head on back to the village, right? Uh, a little walk. I, sounds good. Yeah. To me. Uh, it's it's still nighttime. Um, actually, guess you took a long rest. You're not terribly tired. Um, I talked to Lucia on the way. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so Lucia, Kali's going to come up and sort of like motion to separate a little bit from the rest so the two of us can talk, if you accept. Yeah. But I think more just could like... I can't remember the word for it now. Fuck. Uh, mm. Yes, she'll just she'll do it. Um, which I can't remember the word. Yeah, carry on. Madeline will, will basically yep. kind of pull Sarah aside a bit as well, because she she's going to have a quick chat with him. Or her. Okay. Her? Her. Her. Um, so, Lucy, are you... You um condescending? Is that what you're thinking of? No, patronize was the word I was thinking of. Okay. Uh so kind of going to like so, Lucia, you you need I'm guessing people or creatures of large enough or powerful enough for you to to consume, right? It is not a need in quite the same way as if it is for a full vampire. It is a hunger, but not a need. Mm -hmm. I... I was, yeah. now was, when I was being trained and growing, we were told to restrict it, to not do it, it and to only do it at an absolute minimum. And I refuse. I will not deny me self because of what others think. But it is not as I say, quite as essential. It is merely a part of me. Indeed. And because you you shared that with us, I'm going to share with you that I have a somewhat similar issue where I don't necessarily need to consume, but there is this, it feels like a requirement to cause living things to cease to be in rather unfortunate ways. I think that we could possibly work together, because I, I have no issue with what you are, or what you wish to start indulging in. Because we have a was... sim similar, we have somewhat similar requirements, let's say. Well, perhaps. Although, it, what I will be doing is my thing. If you wish to aid me, so be it. I really could not care. I, I don't care really what you do with the bodies, I just... I I do need to uh, end them. I mm, particular tastes usually lead towards mm, the intelligent beings, people of any race. It does not matter. A beast such as that is not really a choice. So. Well, if I see any intelligent beings, I'll let you know, Callie says he looks around, including his eyes running over the rest of the party. Alright. <laughs> so we'll actually give you a not quite the same shit-eating smirk, actually, more put a little bit more of a genuine grin. <laughs> Very well. I shall keep that in mind. Yeah, Callie just nods and then, then slows down a bit just so that they're kind of separated out a bit, a bit more. And whenever Callie gets back, then Madeline and Sarath can have their chatty doodles. So basically, while, while you guys kind of separate off and have your chat, um, Madeline will turn to Sarath and be like, um, Sarath, 
I wish to have a quick word with you. You are aware of our mission here, correct? Not sure if Holly's back from the toilet. I assumed he was playing from his toilet. Sounds like a nay. No, he said he had to quickly run to the bathroom. I don't think he's back yet. Oh. Well, then I shall have this conversation by myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got you, you got to role play both sides here, man. Come on. Why, why yes, Madeline. <laughs> oh yes, my my dear queen. Yes. Here's all. Here's all my magic items. I'm Cyrus. Role playing with me. Hey. You weren't here. I had to. <laughs> I forgot. Holly has wireless headphones. Don't you? Uh, I do, but if they don't, these ones don't work through this house, which is weird. Because this house is smaller than my, my house in England. Um, the walls are made of pure like the timber. Yeah, they're made of pure lead, so <laughs> the signal doesn't travel. But um, yeah, sorry, what what happened? Uh, well, when when Kelly and Lucira have their little chat, um, Madeline will kind of not pull you aside, but just kind of drift over and engage you in conversation. Mm -hmm. And she'll basically turn to you and say, um, you are aware of our mission here, correct? I'm assuming we would have explained over time. Uh, no, not exactly. Uh, some explanation would be nice. It's... Where are we exactly? Well, we are in, I can't remember the name of the region. Wasteland, Shadowlands, a bunch of people um, call different things. Yeah, we are in the Shadowlands that previously were overrun with ogres, but in recent time they have vanished. So, I'll pull the map. Vanished, vanished ogres? Like they just yes. left, or they? <laughs> and she does the. Herman. The air quotes, they vanished uh, into a pool of blood on the floor. <laughs> no, we have to miss that claim. Uh, we are not currently sure, but we are in the process of finding out. But Interesting. Each of us was sent here by an interested party to set up uh, a town, a mining town, to find what the valuables we can within these lands interesting and um whose whose interests are you uh are you um a part of that is none of your concern of course right sorry um have you found anything of worth yet like where we have found uh, several locations of value. Uh, I don't need to get into specifics, but this land is definitely rich in its own way. Mm. I must ask you, what are your intentions? Do you wish to join our expedition, or do you wish to return home as soon as possible? Um, well, considering uh, those at home <laughs> aren't exactly um welcoming to uh myself at this current moment in time i think i'm uh, i'm okay to if uh if your hospitality would happen to allow it uh stick with you for but a moment of uh of this time and we'll see where uh, where things go if i can be of any help i i of course give you my services and she like holds out her herself and slight bows like but um of course um let us see what the journey takes us i guess and and, um, and again thank you for uh for getting me out of the uh the desert out of that cave and then once again thank you for getting me out of the shadow realm <laughs> madeline kind of grins but she'll um at your like bow sort of thing she will she'll mm -hmm. like shake her head and be like 
There is no need for that. Uh, everyone here is is equal. We uh, we are all here at the same standing. Uh, when you say that, she looks at Lucera like, "Are you sure?" <laughs> I mean, yes. Yeah, honestly, like, speak for yourself when you say we're all equal. <laughs> um. Yes. No. I. 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 I see the, this this group of people um, have, at least for the most part, uh, the good of of everyone at heart, um, which is uh, nice to see. Honestly, I'm I'm glad that there are people out there who who genuinely do, um, at least for the most part. Uh, excuse my language when I say this, but at least they give a shit. Exactly. So, this is good news, yeah. and uh, and uh, I hold good promise. With this uh, with this group, I hope. I would not go so far as to say that. No, well, okay, like... you're just gonna shoot me down right there. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> this is good news. <laughs> oh, that, that bodes well. However, let me be clear about one thing. Mm -hmm. While you are welcome here, you are part of this group. Everything we do is to make this expedition succeed. If you do anything to jeopardize this, you will make mm -hmm. an enemy of me and those I represent. Very good. And, ag and again, just in case something happens, who do you represent? That is not your concern. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean... If, I, if I come across anybody, I will try not to piss them off, of course. Um, me being myself, it can just happen. Um, but of course, I, I do not intend to slight you in any way. My, my, I assure you. So, anyway. accidents happen, as you say. But as I said, <laughs> this expedition must not fail. That is all. Exactly. Very good. Well, I appreciate the explanation, and uh, again, thank you for your hospitality. Um, do you happen to have a tailor here? We barely have a place to sleep, let alone a tailor. And she'll kind of, you know, um, give you the look of someone who is somewhat used to some level of uh, uh, quality comforts and then just kind yes. of shrug. Yes. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. She she looks very sad. <laughs> like, oh, please. Okay. Hey, it's at that moment that uh, you guys come over the ridge and you see the wonderful town of no name yet. Um, <laughs> and all two, lost. two wooden buildings and a large mud hut. And that's like 20 goats oh, and a farm. <laughs> oh, storm, save me. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I I gotta go because of work stuff, which no sucks worries. ass. Um, no next week I have, next week I have two days off, guys. Yeah. Nice, two <laughs> full fucking days off. So, anyways, you know, I think it's a good place to, to stop it, and we'll start the introduction of the the town. And yeah, and we'll we'll do stuff. I'm so happy uh, I finally got to reveal on a damp here. Come on, fucking it's, damn it, dude! I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm happy to have someone else who has a if not a if not a need a desire to kill. And you have another dragon I mean, born there, hey? Right? Yeah, and we have yeah. uh, Sarath here. So um, we got a live one this time. Yeah. We got a live one. 